GoGriffins.com, powered by United Consumers Credit Union, serving Missouri Western alumni and students with more than 5,000 shared branch locations. Thursday night, an epic night in the Fieldhouse. Missouri Western women in a showdown with the number one ranked team in the nation, 12-0 in Poria State. Now this is Scott Cassiola. He is from the New York Times. He is the beat writer for the New York Knicks. The Knicks are so bad this season that the New York Times has sent Scott on a month-long cross-country quest to find good basketball. St. Joseph, Missouri is first stop. I'm kind of, it sounds terrible, I'm not trying to bury the Knicks, but we're trying to look for anything that's sort of the opposite of what they're going through right now. Like, how do you establish a winning identity? I haven't really planned out where we're going from here, uh, but I'm here now and uh, looking forward to a good game. Well, a good game is what he got. Pick it up second half, top rank Lady Hornets enforcing their will. Pick and roll to perfection. Catherine Flott finishes Emporia with a 16 point lead at this point. They go inside, they can go outside too. Addie Lackey gives the Hornets a 52-38 lead with under eight minutes to play. But the story far from finished, this game far from over. These Griffins have made a habit of quick comebacks with furious offensive flurries all season. Why wouldn't they do it against Emporia as well? Serafina Handy, money. She had 11 points. Western cuts the Emporia lead to six. The Griffins go on a 16-5 run in six minutes. Just over a minute to go now. Chelsea Dewey, great look to Tierra Hall and one. It's now a one possession game. Western down 57-54 with just over a minute to play. Final four seconds. They're down four, but not done fighting. Handy has to get a shot off. The bank is open. Griffin down one with one tick remaining. They would need a miracle steal, miracle prayer and basket to win it. And, well, they won't get it. The Hornets go deep at the inbounds and Western's comeback bid against number one falls one point short. They fall to Emporia State 57-56 the final. The Griffins in the midst of a brutal schedule have lost their last three games in similar fashion. There are obvious silver linings in this loss. Western continuing to prove that it can play with any team in the country, but they are still now looking at a four game losing streak. Very frustrating to think about the other possessions where we didn't get a basket or where we turned it over and just think what a game changer it could have been. Emporia State is is as advertised. They're you know, they're number one in the country and they're deserving of it. Tonight for 40 minutes our kids played at that level and I hope our kids can take that and, and use that as uh, motivation but I tell you it takes a lot out of you when you lose games like this it really makes you I mean, I'll, I'll be honest I'm concerned you know how will our kids respond 48 hours from now playing another top five team in the country um, we put ourselves in position to have a chance to win that's all I ask for our kids every night